Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. So let's look at doing this then. So it needs to be made up of an internal and an external 45 and we're going to make it up onto that bit of wood which is 50 mil. So we need to decide where we're going to start the first set and that would depend on your installation. So I'm going to pick a point. Um, I'm trying to make this obviously a little bit difficult for myself because I'm trying to make all these pieces out of one small piece to show you what you could do. And we're going to pick a point and mark that on there. Now normally if you was going to do a 45, oh I'm going to do a 90, my apologies, you would do a 45 degree mark on each side. So two 45, obviously make a 90 and we'd cut that out and that would become 90 degrees. And we'd do another one there to give us that point. Therefore the assumption would be that if you cut halfway in between, then that would become a 45. So halfway of this bit of trunking, which is a 50 mil, becomes 25. And therefore you'd think that if we do a line on that location, when we cut it, we did that either side of that point, that would give you your 45, but it does not. If we do that, it ends up being an over 45, which is not the end of the world for this type of bend we're trying to do, but it just makes the bend quite tight. And if we're trying to do a 45, so how do we do that? Well, we could calculate it. So how's your trigonometry? So to find this, we can use the tan of the angle equals the opposite over the adjacent. Our adjacent is the 50 mil. It's the dimension of the trunking in that direction. So if we rearrange this formula to find that distance there, which will be the opposite that we're after. So that will be the opposite equals the tan of the angle, which is a tan and it's half of 45, so it becomes 22.5 because it's each side, times by 50. And if we put that into your calculator, and remember we all carry calculators, it's called your phone, uh, put it on calculator, turn it sideways, that gives you your scientific bit. But if we put tan of 22.5 times by 50, that gives us a dimension of 20.71 millimetres. So not the 25. Like I say, if you did do the 25, it would be over 45. So we could do that and measure 20.7, which is nigh on 21 millimetres. But we don't need to do that either. We can actually use a piece of paper. A piece of paper is already square in the corners. It's 90 degrees. And then if we just fold that piece of paper, that gives you an angle of 45 degrees. So there's our 45. And obviously if we fold this again on that point, what you'll end up with is 22.5 as an angle. So there we've got 22.5. Provided you've got a bit of paper big enough, we can put it on that centre mark and then keep it on the end. And then where those marks cross, those measurements will be the 20. 0.7 mil and we just do our dimensions from that location and then square those round and this will give you a 45 degree bend making sure you go the right side on both sides a little bit tight but we can get it in it's not a problem and like I say normally I would do this with a hacksaw in class to show students but this time I'm going to do it with an angle grinder so those are the bits we're going to remove and very carefully, without taking my thumb off, we're going to cut those pieces out, making sure we don't cut beyond the marks, keeping as accurate as we possibly can because it's going to make the bend look half decent. So remember this has got a thin blade in. And then carefully cut down those points there, just those points, and then keeping at the angle that we're going down, so those 22 degrees, keeping down angle, so if you cut down square you'll end up with a hole. Take those top lips off and then give this a good file up. Remember this is containment, it's here to protect the cable, so make sure you give it a good file. Why would we want to do this? Well we could go and buy them and this is what it would look like if you buy them, but this one I took a picture of, look, it's made up of internal bends only, so the externals are actually 
internal bend. So how you get the lid off, I don't know. But we're just going to do one side of that to set up. And then we've got, that's our 45 now, and we can check that against our square. And there's our 45, and you can see they are bang on our 45. And then drill them through and fix them. A couple of holes either side. The good thing about making your own bends uh, is you have earth continuity continuous because you don't actually break the trunk in. Provided you don't cut all the way through, that is. And nut and bolt them in position. Now, when you offer this up, uh, what you want to do is offer it up to the 50mm and then where it touches the 50mm, where the dimension is 50mm, mark it. And this is now the start of the bend. So this is not the middle, it's the beginning. So we're going to work away from this point. So we're going to get our trusty piece of paper once we've squared this around. So we could use our measurement, which is 20.7, but I'm going to use that bit of paper just to show you what we do. So there's our mark on there, and that gives us now the center. And we're going to square that, so that's the center of the bend. So this is going to be an external bend, so lid on the top. And then mark that down the bottom. Put our diagonals in, making sure we're going the right direction. Square those all the way around. And what you must not do now is once you've squared this all around and made your marks is make sure both sides obviously go the right direction but you must not cut the top. These are the bits we are going to remove so those bits come out and do not cut this piece. So using our angle grinder again remember hacksaw will do this equally as well going down at the angle, cut down those pieces there, making sure not to cut through that lip because that's the only bit holding it together, I'm going to end up with two pieces, and very carefully take those pieces out, take that piece out, don't leave them lying about, go on your feet, it's going to hurt, so go down there, just take those edges out, just cut those small pieces out there. With a hacksaw what you have to do is open it up so you can get the hacksaw in, but it will do it. Um, I'm not going to sit there and file in them. Certain. And then file them out. Obviously make sure that all those sharp edges have gone. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the same as I've done in previous ones, I'm going to score that edge there, especially on these smaller pieces because it's a tiny flap, it's only 20mm long, so we're just putting a score in like you would on a piece of card if you wanted to fold it, um, and it allows us when we put it together that you can fold that over, and pretty much that will then hold it in place, um, but we'll put a fixing in because we want to make sure it does stay, so mark up your fixings, put your nuts and bolts through, and tighten them up. And there we have it, a offset when we put it back onto the trunk in, and you could then drill through the top, through that flap, if onto the wall to give you another fix in. This is Marky Help, thank you very much.